Do you understand, though, that even in this trailer, we're going to obviously see half of the series tomorrow morning, Harry and Meghan accept that they were treated very well in the early days. What the issue was is that then Thomas Markle, her father, was thrown under the bus and began a campaign against his own daughter uh, for very good reasons, I believe. He was treated appallingly. And then I revealed the story in November 2018 about the Queen warning Prince Harry about the way that Meghan was treating stuff. Now, we have huge respect for the Queen. Do you think she just made that up? Do you think she just called Prince Harry up and said, Meghan's treating people terribly, buck up your ideas, for no reason? Princess Diana spoke very candidly about her life as a royal and the fact that it's very different, family and the institution, which is a business. She said she felt trapped in the royal machine. She said she felt like she was a lamb to the slaughter. She felt like her personality was taken away from her. And as we all know, she died under horrible circumstances. I can completely sympathise with Prince Harry for wanting to protect his family. And he did go to his family he claims, and they didn't help. He then begged the British media to back off Meghan, and they didn't. So then he took they did her back away. Off but you what, what upsets actually, me no, 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 actually, is Prince actually, Andrew actually, I just want to come in there and is then I'll treated let you more gently oh, that's and calmly okay, actually, than Meghan. I, I thought you might say that. So I actually want to play something to you. So let's have a watch of this, because people have said for a long time, and people have accused me of caring more about Meghan and Harry than I have Prince Andrew. It's completely untrue. I've been speaking about Prince Andrew and the terrible deeds of Prince Andrew actually since 2009. It was the British press who exposed Prince Andrew's relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. It was this coverage from the British press that actually resulted in Prince Andrew losing his royal role. He's out of the Still family living now. In a He's living in a, disgraced, uh, in a disgraced manner. So can we just please... Please, Ashley, still do has not taxpayer tell me security that I for care 400, less about 000, Prince Andrew than Harry and Meghan. So could Four hundred thousand pound a year we spend on Prince Andrew's so security. Harry- still lives in a three hundred million pound lodge, and the fact that even put in the same breath, but. Even in a good example, you put after, the same breath, actually. after the Queen no, we died, we there, about were, there were fo- like 15 negative articles about Meghan Markle in 48 hours on one publication, 12 in another. There were none about Prince Andrew. And, like, I, I'm looking forward to hearing their side of the story, to be honest, because I, I do feel I can understand why they're aggrieved. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I'm excited to hear it. But I, I'm sick of the smear campaign against him. She has been proven to them. have lied multiple times over the But also, time. I, imagine, in the I imagine there are NDAs about lots of different no, royals. No, but she has so been proven lift... to have lied about certain situations okay. over the last two years. I'm, I'm not so going to sit here and why, say that she's perfect, but I also think... That she says I'm, not, I'm not telling you to believe everything, but I think they have a right to speak Look, their Dan, truth. One, one thing I will say, I personally thought that Meghan would bring not only this country and the royal family t- together, you know, I-, I thought it would uh, improve race relations in this country. It's done the opposite. It has done the opposite. Her behaviour has called, caused racial divides. And, uh, and, 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 and seeing as we're talking about race, there is only actually one person in the royal family who's been proved to be an overt racist, and that is, oh, yeah, Prince Harry. Uh, on that note, Don Nisa.